I'm Atuba George, and I'm so blessed today to be bringing God's truth to you. Now, before we go into today's broadcast, can we call forth our daily bread? Are you ready? Join me in faith right now and say, Father, I demand now my daily bread. Now receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Man, praise God. Miracles are going to take place in your life today. Expect good things. Expect God to show up for you. Praise God. Now, that's what he does. Now, he is committed to doing it. He doesn't do it randomly. He doesn't do it. I, I praise my tongue today. Hey, every day is your turn. Praise God. Every day is your turn. You don't say, I hope I praise my tongue for my dad to love me today. Come on now. Every day is your turn. So it's your turn today. It's your turn to receive from the Lord today. So open your heart and receive every favor and earthly blessing. Let it come to you in abundance today. Even as you receive the word of the Lord today. In Jesus' name. Amen. So we are talking about the power of the Holy Spirit making us witnesses. Praise God. The Holy Spirit is in us generating a power that produces love in us and through us. Our life wire is love. Believe this. And this is not something we try to become. And now that's the problem. You know, you, know, you, you look at a lot of um, Christians or people who profess to be Christians. There are lots and lots of them. And they are trying to become what the Bible says. It's funny because they try and try and try. They still don't become and many of them give up. We don't try to become. Hi, how can I make this um, sound in your heart? May God give you understanding. You see what we do? It's like you get an equipment, right? And then you get the manual from that equipment, from the box. And then you start studying and studying and memorizing and memorizing and memorizing and memorizing. So you know everything written in that manual. But then you don't turn on that equipment. The manual will not make the equipment work. No, it won't. That's why there are people who will never even read the manual. And they will work the equipment. <laughs> it's good. They just, now how many of you, how many of you even read the manual these days? Very few. Except some specialized equipment where you don't even know what this thing does. Or you buy a television, you buy a new phone, you don't read the manual. You just, I know, you know, you're filling a form online, it's the terms and conditions. You just scroll down to the end and say, I accept. You don't even know what you accept. <laughs> but because you need to accept to move to the next level. Yeah, I accept. You don't read everything. And talk less of reading the manual. So it's not the reading of the manual that will make it work better. No. It is a walking of the thing. You plug the equipment to electricity if it's electrically powered. You plug it to electricity and then you, it has a remote. You put on the remote. You put on the, on the, the, the switch on the, the button. It comes on. Then you, now what you do with that equipment, you begin to explore. See that now? You don't cram the manual and say, hmm. With the cramming of this manual, oh, this equipment is going to work wonderfully. No, sir. No. It is the exploring of the equipment that will make it work well. Now, what then is the reason for the manual? If there is a problem, if it's not working the way you think it's supposed to work, then you go check the manual to say, oh, let me find out if this one does what I want it to do. You see that now? Now, you can read this before 
or read this after. But get what I'm saying. The reading of the manual is not what makes the equipment work. The equipment is designed to work. So an illiterate person can work that equipment and do with it what he wants to do. And also, now, if, you've, if you've used electronics, uh, phones, tablets, you will even realize that sometimes even you discover things that the manual didn't even talk about. You discover some things that you, you're maneuvering this thing and like, whoa. Ah, uh, wow, I didn't know. You know, I remember recently I needed to get uh, a laptop for my daughter. So I was looking for um, a, a small laptop that she can use. And with the amount I had budgeted for it, for it I knew I was not going to buy a brand new laptop. So I was looking for a used laptop. So I began to pray to the Lord about it. Now that's what I do. See, you want to buy a laptop and you're praying. Yes, that's what I, 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 I get the mind of God for everything. Every step I take about saying all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So I began to pray about it. I said, Lord, I, I think for these classes, um, they, they, can't, they can't use my laptop. They need their own uh, laptop. So I, I needed to direct him. And so... I had an impression in my heart to go, you know, when, when that impression came on me, I had no rest. Like, the only thing I saw myself do was going to look for that laptop. And so I went to look for the laptop. And I, now, I, now so funny, this, I wanted to listen attentively. So you understand how the power of the Holy Spirit works in us. Now, I was looking for a fairly used laptop. So I went to where in, in in the city of abuja where they sell laptops and i didn't go asking for where they sell because i was led to a particular shop where i used to buy things like that and i have a particular shop where i buy things like that so and they don't sell fairly used things they sell brand new things now i was looking for uh, a fairly used laptop but the moment i entered that place i was moved i knew because when you're led by the Holy Spirit, it's not something or oh, something was moving me. It, it, we are naturally, and that's how your life's supposed to be. You are naturally. So you come out of a place, you just, you just know, okay, this is where I'm supposed to go. That's how it works. So I got there, parked the, my car, came down, and I just went straight to that shop where they sell new <laughs> laptops and, and, and things. So I entered and I began to look around. Now just looking around. Then I found this particular laptop and I got interested in it. It was displayed. So I said, oh, this looks like what I need. How much is it? And they told me. Now at first I was shocked at the price because it fitted my budget actually. But I was shocked that why would this laptop be this cheap? <laughs> so I like, really? They said, yeah. I like, okay. It, and I, I began to think maybe uh, it's not as good as I thought it was. Yeah by looking at it. So I said, what's the memory size? They told me, what's this? I, I began to ask all the questions. And I said, ah, so why is it cheap? I asked them, I said, so why is it cheap? They said, oh, it's not a brand new one. I said, and do you put self early? They said, no, that's the only one. And they told me the story behind it. I'm like, okay, I'll get it. Now, you're looking for a fairly used laptop, but the Lord led you to a place where they sell brand new laptop and the only laptop <laughs> you are looking for there is the one like, that's how the spirit of God moves us so I paid for it and got it home now we got it home and we're using it and while we're trying to type something for some reason my hand touched the screen and I saw that the screen moved like hold on these people sold me a touch screen laptop I mean now there was no manual See, there was no man, and they didn't tell me it was a touch screen laptop. Now, I began to discover things I didn't bargain for. Then I realized, whoa, this was a good buy, praise God. This was a good buy. I, I wonder, did they know it was a touch screen laptop? Now, now, you know, that is part of what makes it expensive. Like, wow. And then, you know, I was talking to someone like this, the person I said, why don't you flip it over? <laughs> Maybe 
I said, no, don't go there. I said, no, maybe just flip it over. So I flipped the thing. I said, ah, ah. Wow. You can use this as a tablet. I said, what did I buy? <laughs> Praise God. Now, understand this. It was me exploring that made me discover what that system can do. Are, are you getting me? I didn't need a manual. Now, that's how our life is. But this is what a lot of us do. The Bible, we call it the Bible, we call the Bible our manual, right? No. Even though God didn't call it that, but we call it our manual. But you know what we do? We read the Bible and read the Bible and cram the Bible and recite the Bible. Because we have crammed, we, we know a lot of scriptures and we think we are okay. No, sir. <laughs> Until you step out and begin to live the life by the power of the Holy Spirit. So we don't live trying to conform. No, we don't. We live by the power of the Holy Spirit. And then we realize that when they look into the scriptures, they see us. Yes, they see us. So now you, you are living your life. Now I said, I'm not supposed to be sick. Brothers and sisters, it's not by confessing, I shall not be sick, I shall not be sick. I shall, that will keep you healthy. No, sir. No, no. I'll say it again. No. It's not, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. I declare I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. The Bible says, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. That will make you rich. No, sir. No, 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 no. So that's the mistake you've been making. And I say, you have been confessing the word. And which word have you been confessing? This is how it happens. Please learn it. The power of the Holy Spirit working in you. I love etish kabad. He is the one that will begin to bring ideas. I said, exploring. You must explore life. You must explore life. You begin to explore. And as you go, and then you start feeling sick, like, this is wrong. Because now, now system malfunction. So when system is malfunctioning, what do you do? You troubleshoot. Why am I feeling this? So is this right? Now you can consult the manual. And then you begin to study. Yes, those that dwell therein shall not say, I am sick. Huh? So this system is not supposed to be sick. Okay, so what do I do? It's not to start confessing. Oh, I'm healed, I'm healed. No, no, no. It's to say sickness. You are not part of me. Holy Spirit, now because we live by the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, sickness is not supposed to be part of this system. But then I'm feeling pains in my head right now. I'm feeling feverish in my body right now. I, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling uncomfortable right now. Lord, nah, it's not supposed to be. Now because I believe in the Holy Spirit, and I believe in His power that is at work in me, guess what happens? Ah, as I fellowship with Him, and fellowship with Him, and fellowship with Him, guess what? He tells me His word. Get up and be healed. Or whatever He tells you. And when I hear that word, I take that word and I act accordingly. Now that's what the Bible meant when it says faith comes by hearing. See that now? Then it says faith comes by reading. We have been trying to pull faith by reading. But that's not what he says. He says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And he's not saying go listening to tapes. Now, I've told you this before, reading the Bible, listening to messages, and being around believers, you are creating the atmosphere for faith to come. But faith only comes when God speaks to you, see? So be in the environment, create the atmosphere that God can easily speak to you. 
because that's what you're looking for. Concerning your finances, that's what you're looking for. You see that now? Now, when that word comes to you, what does that word do? It produces the life of God in you. Then you become a witness to what the scriptures have said. Now, actually, Jesus didn't even say we'll become witnesses to the scriptures. He said we'll become witnesses of him. Him. Now, the scripture spoke about him and said by his stripes we were healed. See that now? So now, he has taken those stripes. Now, this is not just writing. Somebody actually received stripes. So we consider him who received stripes. We don't consider the scripture that said he will receive stripes. Ah. Mm. So when I need, no, 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 that's the mistake a lot of people. Now, you see, when you're, when you're a person of faith, you, everybody who works in faith, truly works in faith, you would have made a lot of mistakes that you learn from. Because the more you walk this thing, the more you grow. The more you walk it, the more you learn. The more you walk it, the more you learn. If you stay, that's what Jesus said, abide in me. You will learn a lot. So now you now realize that many people, when they say, by his stripes, I'm healed. No, they are thinking, they are thinking of Isaiah. <laughs> yeah, by his stripes, I'm healed. Oh, your word says in Isaiah, by his stripes, I am healed. You are not considering the one Jesus who is, you are supposed to be thinking of Jesus who went on that cross, who received all those stripes. You picture him receiving those floggings. You, you understand what I'm, you picture him receiving those lashes. Say, so, wow, no, no, no. He couldn't have received all those things. Now I'm not just about watching the movie. Now you see, faith comes to your heart. So you visualize it in your heart. The Holy Spirit will help you. You begin to see it. You see it. You see it. And you just wake up and say, nah, I can't be sick. After that man received all those things for me, I refuse to be sick. No, it's an aberration for me to be sick. It is, no, 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 no. I refuse it with everything in me. Now, when you get to that point, say the word of God has come alive in you. Then you will hear the voice of the Holy Spirit saying to your son, get up. Get up. He will give you an instruction. I'm telling you, to, he will tell you what to do. And as you hear his voice, now what has happened to you? Faith has now come. And then you get up and do exactly what he told you to do. Praise God. And guess what? Everything will disappear. The finances will come. The favor will come. The blessings will come. You picture it. Everything about life, this is how we walk it. We trust in the power. We trust in the power walking right inside us. <laughs> the power of the Holy Spirit. If you don't know this power, you can't live the Christian life. No amount of preaching would do it for you. No amount of confessing would do it for you. <sighs> this is real. This is real. And you just open yourself to it. You know, you wake up every day and say, Holy Spirit, I've not been called to walk with anybody but you. You are the one. You are the glory of my life. You are the glory of my life. Fill me today. Feel me today. Feel me. I submit to your leading. Just lead me and I'll follow. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ah, ah. My time is up. May the Lord open your understanding truly. That these things will become so real to you. And you will walk majestically in this truth. And let the power of the Holy Spirit begin to shine through you that the world will see Jesus in you. Amen.
the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.